guy wants to know if there's a book or books where the authors are no longer alive and exists and the publisher no longer holds a copyright patent or is defunct. What are his legal or ethical obligations regarding any living relatives, um, if, if any, to the original authors? Now, for the record, he's tried to locate the original author who is now deceased and couldn't find anyone living or related to the author. So uh, the answer is this. From, from both a legal and an ethical standpoint, you have to get the rights. You wouldn't go ahead and build a house on land you don't own just because you can't find the owner, and the same really goes here. It sometimes is difficult or even impossible to track down the author or the heirs of the author of work, but if the work is covered by copyright, it's still an infringement if you base your work on that material. This is what's called the orphan works problem, and it's been a somewhat controversial topic in the legal, regulatory, and legislative world for the past few years. Some of the proposals out there would have a sort of escrow system set up, so if you've made a good faith effort to find the owner but can't, you put a reasonable license fee in escrow, and if they later surface, they can access that money. Problem is, what if that copyright holder would have refused any amount of money and it just doesn't want any movie made based on his book or poem or whatever? Well, that's his right under copyright, and this new rule would essentially take that right away. There are some other proposals out there, and you can read more about the whole situation at a pretty good website called orphanworks.net. Now, Congress hasn't been able to pass any legislation on the issue yet, although they've tried several times, but right now it's pretty dormant. The rule still is you have to have permission. So you've got to find the copyright holder. That might be the author's heirs, or it could be the publisher, or if the publisher's gone out of business, someone or some company probably did take uh, over those rights. That's called the successor in interest. Um, usually the government records that relate to the closing of the company might give some indication of who it is that took over those assets. And this can mean a lot of trips to government archives and courthouses and things like that. It's pretty detailed uh, legal investigative work. So first start with a search of the copyright office records. That's a little easier. For newer works, works created since 1978, those records are computerized, and you can search them online at copyright.gov, assuming the work was, re was ever registered. For older works, it's going to mean a trip to the Library of Congress. Now, you don't have to necessarily go to Washington yourself. You can hire a service to do that search for you, but ultimately, you really have to keep trying to get that permission.